turning now to happier news or happier coverage, I guess, the weather. Yeah. Right? Well, that's some heavy stuff. Yeah. Indeed. Meteorologist yeah. Sam Sampiri standing in for <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank tonight. Sam, we had a, a midsummer like day today. It was pretty mm -hmm. hot out there. Yeah, after uh, heavy rain and thunderstorms uh, this morning, and I'll tell you guys, we really lucked out this morning. We did not have a lot of severe weather at all. There were no severe warnings, but boy, we were a bit concerned the way the system was developing. Good news is that got out of the way. Yes, we picked up over an inch, inch and a half of rain, and then it warmed up in a big way. It was humid. And then the wind started picking up from the west, and it really warmed us up. A lot of mixing of the atmosphere. That's why it got so warm. Even down along the shoreline, that's because the wind turned around to the west as we were drying out, and the sun was coming out at the same time. Right now, temperatures have dropped off nicely this evening. We're all the way down to 61 already in Torrington. The 68 Meriden are warm spots right here in New Haven at 72, Groton 71. Bridgeport also 71. Everybody else basically in the middle, mostly in the 60s. Take a look at our current dew points. This is comfy now, and we are now in the middle, getting into the middle of June. And basically what we can expect, clear, comfy tonight, beautiful for your Friday, a little unsettled here and there, a spot shower on Saturday. It's going to be mostly dry, uh, but we can't rule out the chance for a shower on Saturday. And then late on Sunday, I'll show you that in a minute. It probably won't happen until uh, Sunday night. Let's at least hope that for now. And of course, if you're going to do a little walking, a little running tomorrow, no problems at all tomorrow. Beautiful day. Uh, any shower activity that was off to our west is melting away. This little system out here, well, it's a little front, but it's going to die out and mean nothing to us for tomorrow. Instead, high pressure is actually starting to develop in Cleveland, and it's going to actually build over our region for the next couple of days. Meanwhile, this system, we were initially thinking it might give us a rainstorm, but instead it's going to be going out to sea. So that certainly is good news. Again, tonight becoming mostly clear. It's already cleared out for the most part. Comfy, lows back down into the 50s. And for tomorrow, an absolutely beautiful day, mostly sunny, beautiful, much like yesterday, actually dry, warm and pleasant with highs reaching the upper 70s uh, to lower 80s and a beach and boating tomorrow. That's not bad at all. Uh, winds west at 5 to 15, waves one foot. There's the high tides in the morning and then again tomorrow evening, UV index an 8 to a 9. Sun angle very high now that we're getting into the summer solstice time in the next couple of weeks. And we start out the maps for tomorrow, and you can see that mostly sunny skies, just a few clouds around. Now, for Saturday, we're going to have mostly cloudy skies, intervals of sunshine. There's a slight chance for a spot shower on Saturday afternoon, but for the most part, it is dry, just a lot of clouds around. And the same for Sunday, except maybe a little bit more sunshine breaking out. Mostly sunny, a southerly wind will, will come in. And then as we watch for Sunday night, notice 1030, not much going on. But then after that, that rain will move in just in time. Uh, for Monday, here's your Fox 61 seven day forecast showing you basically temperatures uh, back up in the low and middle 80s uh, for next week. And then we cool back down by the end of the week. So right now, as it looks, guys, no big heat in sight for now. Back to you.